Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be doing the install of Zabbix, and uh, when I do the install, I use a shell script. Um, I did not write this. I will put a link on where I got this from. Um, I will not post it on my website. You'll have to download it from his site. And uh, basically, after I download it, uh, since I'm actually running this from a Windows system, I'm going to copy the uh, install file over to the uh, Linux system that I have set up. Uh, you know, it's a plain Jane minimal install, uh, and it, it, it's there. And then what we'll do is uh, go through the steps uh, through the script there. So I'm just going to copy it from my local system over to the temp directory. I'm just going to set the properties real quick. You can also do this from Linux as well. Set set the uh, you know, change mod it over there. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, I'm on the host, and then from this host, we'll change the temp directory. There's the install script. Then I'm going to do a install Zabbix, and here it tells you what to do. Run at your own risk. Um, install Zabbix. Drops existing database. Um, does not install MySQL. Um, it tells you what you need to do to install SQL, uh, MySQL on here. Um, since it does not have MySQL on it, I'm actually going to cancel out of this. I'm going to do what it tells me to do here. I'm going to install MySQL Server. Yes to that. Okay, just going to clear this up. Is that installed all right? Run that script again. I think it looks good there. Just type go. It says that the uh, basic MySQL passed. It's downloading the uh, RPM Forge release. Um, those 66 packages. Yeah, he did a really nice job on the script. I mean, it makes it really easy and takes out of a lot of uh, human errors that could be made um, for the install. Uh, it's done in installing now. It's verifying. All right, now it's downloading the uh, latest Zabbix, which is the 2.2.1 uh, tar file. Pass the configuration. Uh, compile passed. And it's doing a make install. Passed. Okay, looking at the script right now, it's uh, installing the database or importing the database. That's probably why it's taking uh, a long period of time. Obviously, if you have more memory and Faster CPU and all that stuff would be a lot faster. This is a, actually in a VM, uh, so it won't uh, won't be the fastest install. But still, it's it's, it's a pretty neat uh, script that he's created for this. Okay, looks like it's uh, up. So let's uh, try logging in through a web server or web uh, website. And looks good so far, so let's log in with the default admin and Zavix. And looks good. Next steps will be setting up some hosts that we can monitor them and see them and configure them and uh, check all that stuff out, but just the initial install of it. 
Everything looks good from that point. That concludes this video. Again, this is installing Zabbix 2.2.1 on CentOS 6.5 uh, using a uh, script and uh, getting up and running in, in about 10 minutes or less. Thanks again, and you can get more information at info.bing14.net. Uh, there will also be some notes in the uh, video location as well where I got the script from, and uh, a shout-out to the person that created it because it's just really a nice, uh, quick, fast install, a great script. Thanks again.